All right, so here we are. Welcome to my life. Um, we're going to be covering pretty much everything. Uh, I know that's a lot, but, you know, we'll take it slow. Start it off nice and easy. Um, you know, it probably will get a bit serious at times. Uh, things can get a little epic around here. But for those of you who know me, you know that I can't possibly keep a straight face this whole time. So we'll have some fun. I promise. So, the obvious question you probably all have on your minds is, what's with the title of the show? Right. Well, it's a bit weird, I know. Um, Keith Courage is my online alias, and pretty much always has been. Um, and for some of you, I've told you that it's the title of an old video game, and that's true. Um, but for today, since we're trying to start things off easy, I figured you guys might be interested in learning a little bit more about that story, um, why I chose the name, um, the history of me in that game, and why I think its title fits this show perfectly. Right, so, to give you kind of a quick crash course in video game history, um, there were two big players back in the day in video games, and their names were Nintendo and Sega. You may have heard of them. And they kind of went head-to-head, -head and they each had a mascot to represent them. And we'll go over those right now. So first up, Nintendo. And they had Super Mario Brothers. Uh, most of you have probably seen this before. Uh, and the mascot was Mario. Um, Strange thing, Italian name, Japanese game. Weird. Uh, but I guess the thing that always struck me about this was that, well, that. The whole jumping on people thing. Never really sat quite well with me. And next up, there was Sega. Um, cool logo. And the game that came with their console when you bought it was Sonic the Hedgehog. And there's the mascot, Sonic. Um, personally, between the two, I always preferred him. At the very least, you know, his trademark was that he could run really fast. And, well, it's not bad. Um, but, you know, for some reason, maybe it's just some, I don't know, conspiracy, but they decided to go with the whole jumping on people thing again. And that was just weird. On a side note, the Sonic series would eventually go on to feature some pretty awesome music. Awesome. But before I get too nostalgic here, uh, right, there we go. Keith Courage in Alpha Zones. The moment you've been waiting for. Um, right, so, Nintendo had Mario and Sega had Sonic. Uh, so where does Keith Courage, who's this little guy here, where did he fit in? Uh, right, so he was supposed to be the mascot for this system that came out a little bit later called TurboGrafx-16. And unless you're a huge dork, like me, you've probably never heard of it. Um, but, at the very least, you can see that mm, he's got a sword, right? So, when I was a little kid, that made a lot more sense. Um, Less jumping on people, more hitting them with swords. Right. Anyways, if we fast forward through the rest of the stage, uh, we'll see that this game isn't exactly what you think it is. Uh, it gets a little weird, but we'll save that for next time, actually. For now, while I leave you guys hanging on that story, um, I'm going to make you stare at a photo of Horseshoe Bay that I took, um, while I explain that next up, we're gonna look at some stuff I bought recently. Um, some small stuff and some big stuff. First up, we have some insoles. Um, these are things I put in my shoes so that I don't injure myself when I run a lot. Um, you put them in the oven and they mold your feet. 
All right, those are my running shoes, New Balance 1064s. Um, my feet are actually kind of small, so that's actually the women's. Um, luckily, they did light blue, or I'd be wearing pink. Here's an exercise mat for push-ups and sit-ups. Next, we have a uh, chin-up bar. Um, actually, when I told my dad on the phone that I bought this, he wouldn't stop laughing at me for like 30 seconds. Thanks, Dad. Alright, this is the bass guitar that I'm renting. Uh, it's an Ibanez four-string. Don't worry, I barely know what that means either. Uh, but I quite like it. We'll take the car down the highways. Uh, and my first guitar, it's a Gibson SG Special. Um, cherry chrome color. Spikes aren't really my style, but it is the classic Gibson look. And last but not least, my brand new iMac that I'm actually editing this on right now. face before Now I'll always wonder why Don't know me anymore Over so soon Truth be told This is probably a little shorter than I'm planning on making most episodes But It's been kind of a rough couple of weeks And uh Well, I guess next episode I'll share a little bit of that with you Oh, I almost forgot. I'm pretty big into quotes, so at the end of every episode, I'm going to leave you with one. This week's is from The Road Not Taken. It's a poem by Robert Frost. Two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference.